So today is the day when we start putting all this stuff that we've got from Amazon onto the camper. We're just going to start with the doorway area today. It'll be the step and that uh, window for the door. And what else? Oh, like I said, my lock's coming. So hopefully I can get that in this video. If not, um, I feel like they're pretty straightforward. But um, we'll start with this, get it unboxed. It should be a pretty much a, a, uh, a direct replacement for um, the single step that we have. Uh, shouldn't have to drill any new holes, I wouldn't think. But we'll see when we get into it. So let's get this stuff carried out there and get putting it on. It's like a snap together fit that I can't undo the snaps. These pieces right here, these little plastic pieces that come with it have a groove in them. they don't just send it in two pieces it just slips right in and there's enough for the whole window and then just kind of gotta work it off it's the same size as the window with it one's got a seal on it that's the outside piece and this the inside piece is a lot bigger it's got a lot bigger flange on it so that's why I wasn't too worried about the cut on the inside because it's got I don't know probably an extra quarter inch on it um, that the inside or the outside doesn't and then the same you'll know because these little latches go on the inside We're just going to stick this in and hope it fits, fingers crossed. There's a inner and an outer, 
and it'll line up corresponding inside here. Woo! Close. just from extrusion of the plastic. That's what I'm hoping for anyways. make it look a little more finished so next up step go round up some tools and be right back all right this one should be pretty straightforward um, it looks to be a direct factory replacement pretty heavy um, I would definitely recommend uh, some assistance with it you gotta, you're gonna want to make sure you're going right buddy. so it functions like a, a normal one you got to pull the step out first and then the bottom one flips out finger in there a gap right there but there's a bolt under there this guy so I'm gonna loosen that bolt up see if I can't make this flex a little bit I know it's welded back there but I feel like I can make this flex because it's an awful long ways away
let's show how this one functions. Hopefully, it's not it too tight. I see a problem. All right, well, do over this piece right here is interfering with my step. If you're putting this double step on, the original holes are the top holes. You gotta drop it down one. Because the as you can see, it won't go in. And it's all the way at the top. That's how it stores. It's a little wider, it sticks out the camper. Or so, a couple inches. Um, not any farther than anything else, though, by any means. But there's that. Um, gonna do the lock, and it's pretty straightforward. It's just a bunch of screws. You shove the new stuff on, and then I think it's the same screws. It looks exactly the same on the inside. It's just got a keypad on the outside. Um, but like I said, we're waiting on Amazon for that. It should be here. Hopefully, I think it's like almost 5 o'clock today. So it probably won't be today. Hopefully, it'll be tomorrow. But um, pick back up on this when we get that. And then I can uh, move on to the next thing. All right, so yesterday, right before I left for work, probably 15 minutes before I left, um, my new lock came. Um, super excited. So, um, time to put it in. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward. There's a couple screws in the back here of the pre-assembled assembly, and then a new strike plate and some hardware. And then we'll just have to take the old one off and I think it's pretty simple, uh, more or less straight on and that should be it. So here we go. strike plate and some screws It's pretty good. 
sure you plug it in first or else you're gonna probably have to take it back apart and then just tuck the wires in as nice as you can and then line up the deadbolt it has like a slotted uh, lever on it so make sure you line that up same thing with the door catch it's got a, a pin in it that actually makes the mechanism work a bit of a dance there's that so we'll throw two of these screws in it and then get the other two <laughs> Seem to seal on the door pretty well. Let's get a closer look here. Uh, I thought maybe I was going to have to cock it, but looks pretty good don't see any big gaps um, so hopefully no gaps and then uh, they put a new strike plate in it with for the jam but I think I'm gonna try this out without changing it Seems to work pretty well. So, so yeah. Uh, it also did come with a set of keys. Just a couple of keys, and then obviously uh, you have to go through and program it. Um, if you do pick one of these up, they're probably all a little bit different. So I'm not going to run through that, but um, it's just a matter of actually turning it off and on and then setting the code or whatever and uh, probably syncing the key fob with it and then you can punch in whatever code you need but that'll be on whatever one that you guys get if you get one um, it still has a deadbolt just like the factory one so pretty complete little kit I will uh, link all the stuff that we use the window the steps and uh, the new handle, um, it'll all be down in the description. Um, so yeah, that's our whole whole new entryway. Um, thanks for following us along again. Uh, we're just about done with all our upgrades. And if you we're liked it, give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell for all the notifications for all our uh, upcoming videos. Thanks.